hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see this will be a hair tutorial um, on this wig but it's also going to be how I do my makeup during the allergy season so the first thing that I use is this elf poreless primer um, by the way I'm gonna link all the products in the description bar um, well the description box so that you guys know exactly what it is um, but I use the elf primer and I also use the Fenty primer um, to erase my pores and to also give me a matte yet dewy soft look that's mainly what I'm going for because my skin is in like the in between stages I guess you would say during the allergy season I break out I get my skin gets very itchy very dry sometimes very oily like it's very mixy so the way I do my makeup I have to be careful um, as you guys can see I just color corrected using the LA girl um, concealer and for my foundation I am using the ColourPop and this is in the color 170 and also 175 I mixed them both because I'm also in between shades <laughs> so this foundation is actually a very dewy foundation um, if you have oily skin I would not recommend it unless you have some heavy matte primer um, as well as you know your the way you set your skin you just have to make sure Next, I'm going to be using the Fenty Concealer, and this is also Lorax Concealer. I mix them both, and I just blend it underneath my eyes. And if you guys can tell, well, obviously you could tell, I no longer use beauty blenders. I still have them, um, but I don't know. I, I like the precision, and I like the finished look of the brushes. So that's mainly the reason why I've been using brushes. But after you blend out your concealer, you want to make sure you go back in with the foundation brush so that everything can blend in together and you don't have that line of demarcation from the concealer. Next, I'm going in with my Fenty setting powder. Again, I will list all the products in the description box so you guys know what shade it is. Um, I love this setting powder. I really, really do. I feel like it brightens underneath the eyes. So if you don't have like a light concealer, to highlight you can go in with a lighter powder I love it it's matte um, the smell isn't too harsh and I don't know I just I just love it but as you can see I'm also setting everything with a brush as well because I want to make sure I get into each spot that gives me the most problems during my allergy season um, for the record I do have combination skin during the summertime, I get more oily. During the wintertime, my skin is very dry. So being that it's spring, I'm very in the middle. So that's why I'm using the dewy foundation because it feels light on my face, um, as well as gives me nice coverage. And as you can see, I didn't use too much of it because it's allergy season. I wanna make sure my skin is very less irritated as possible while I'm, make while I'm wearing makeup. So that's very important to me. Otherwise, my face is gonna be itching. And also another key tip as to my foundation routine is in the beginning, you guys saw I did my brows, but I only did the bottom half of it and I set it. Then when my foundation and powder was complete, I went ahead and I finished my eyebrows and I set it again. So for those curious as to how I use my eyebrows, how I do my eyebrows, that's what I do. <laughs> um, the highlight that I'm using is from Maybelline. I forgot what it's called off the top of my head, but it will be in the description box as well. Um, next, I'm going in with my blush, and I believe this is Dusty Rose by NYX. This is my go-to everyday blush. I actually don't have a lot of blushes. Um, I use the same ones all the time. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm bronzing with the Anastasia bronzer, and this is in Mahogany, and this is my summer bronzer, so I'm going in very light with it. So I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face, but before I jump into the hair, I actually wanted to talk about it. So even though it's looking like a little bush right now, <laughs> um, as you guys can see, um, this is curly hair, this is water wavy. I will have all of the hair description um, in the description box down below. This hair I actually ordered from AliExpress. Yes, I ordered from AliExpress. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, and I know a lot of people do like to do that, but there's so many mixed reviews that to me it doesn't matter because you can order from the hair company, you can order from AliExpress and you're still gonna have good and bad reviews. It all depends on what you were looking for and if you got good hair quality. As far as from what I can tell, this is very, very good quality. This is Tanache hair and I ordered it from AliExpress itself. Um, before I ordered it, I did reviews and everything like that. So the wig came in this box. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what it came in. It was the net and the bag. It came with the wig cap. And it also came with a very cute mirror that had Tanache hair on the back. So I thought it was very cute. 
So of course, for curly hair, you're gonna drench the hair with water. Everybody knows how to do that, so I'm just gonna talk right through that part. Um, as far as the hair, I really do like the hair. The hair came pre-plucked, and it's very thin. It's thin for what I, I wanted, for what I preferred. I feel like it's a great amount of hair. It's not too much, and it's not too little. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, but yes, the frontal was pre-plucked, and the frontal seemed like it was transparent, and it was very blendable, so, I didn't have to do too much. I mean, even as far as the plucking, I only had to pluck like one side and I plucked the other side just a little bit because it was already plea plucked. And I actually, I think it came out very, very good. This is the most natural wig I have ever had in my life. Um, this wig did not give me any issues. Also, this wig is glueless. Well, I made it glueless. The only thing I have on it is the elastic band in the back. And then I also have it sewn in one part um, towards the back just to keep it from moving or shifting or anything like that. And that's all I did to it. Um, on the frontal part, I normally just spray it down with some got to be glue free spray just to make sure it's secure. But that's about it. No glue, no nothing. Because being that it's starting to get springtime and summertime is right around the corner, I don't need all of that on my forehead. I don't need all that going on. I just want to look cute and just keep it simple. So that's why I did it this way. But I really, really, really do like the hair. And it looks so natural. Like... This is the natural wig I have ever had in my life, I swear. This is like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. So I'm very, very happy with it so far. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put some powder just on the edges so it can blend in with my complexion. And that's basically it. Um, I normally would use the As I Am, but I didn't do it because I recorded this at night. But during allergy season, that's what I use and water. Keep it basic, simple. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, give a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time.